Ah, I didn't put the right streaming info in. All right, check one, two, three. See, I'll put that there. Playing a little kitchen rush. I will have. Let's see, I'll put my chef card here. Playing a little kitchen rush. And let me mute myself so I don't have to hear it. Can I hide this? Uh, wait. All right, little kitchen rush solo. Play this once yesterday on easy mode and was able to beat it. But we'll see if I can replicate that or not. Set up, put all the spices here. So I don't solo, I start with one of each spice. Throw those in the baggie. Put that there. Plates. So I know there's one of each in the dirty. One of each on the side in case I get the right upgrade card. And I want to say it's two of each and one big one. So that are actually clean. So one, two, two of those. That's right. I'll double check here in a second with the rules. Okay, we have some areas that are going to be blocked off completely and others that can, are going to be locked, but they can be opened. Um, okay, so I know one of these ovens is locked, the storage is locked. The lock symbols go on those. These are just saying that they're blocked off completely. I'm just going to do it where it's convenient for me. So instead of the back two waiter spots being blocked, I'm just going to make it 
easy for me. These two blocked order spots. And I believe that's it. Again, I'll double check with the rules just to make sure I got it all right. Starting food wise in the storage. So now I get five meats, five carrots, aka veggies. And then in the lock storage, four meats, four carrots. I started one dollar in the office. Everything else, I believe, is three and two, but we'll see. Yep, three and two. So I have three breads and two breads here. Three pasta, two pasta, and three cheese. Two cheese. Now let me double check my lock spaces and the plates. So I have one of each spice in the bag for one or two players. I'll do the card setup here a bit. So circular unavailable actions, two of the oven spaces, two of the waiter spaces, and two of the order slots. But I did the farther one, so it's just easier for me to get. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Place a circular lock token. Oh, okay, on the oven space. I got that long lock one locked away. Um, Okay, so yeah, two of each size of one, two, and three, one of four, and then one plate each on the dirty plates, one corner in the office area. So I just need to draw two orders and place them face up on the order slots. And prep wise, that'll almost be it. Get all my cards out. Uh, okay, we got these the wrong way. So I have four upgrade cards. Give those a quick shuffle. If I ever want to upgrade these, I just need to go to the office up here in the corner. Upgrade cards. So I draw two, so I'll put the other two over here. So the first upgrade card I draw is oven space for three bucks. I can unlock this oven space and have four spots to cook. And the other upgrade is storage area for four dollars. So I can unlock the storage area, which has lots of ingredients in there already. Place a yellow helper up there that can I can potentially unlock later. Okay, what else do I have to do? Uh, there's two purple cubes, start on the zero in round one. Keep my round marker over here. All right. These 
prestige cards, I think they're called. Yeah. Prestige bonuses. I just shuffle them up. Put them face down in the first slot. I can unlock those if I hit certain spots on the prestige track. So I'm playing solo, but it counts as a two-player game. So in spots 3, 8, 15. So the most you can have is 3. Okay. Um, next ones are the objective cards. So I did easy before. I'm going to get all the normal cards, shuffle them up, and then I'll just draw one and see what my objective is going to be. going to be hmm. so I know when you're playing solo it says the changes are your goals are the same as in a two-player game And I have to treat everything as if it were two players. So that means I have to make four orders every time. At the during every every round I have to make four orders. And if I don't, I just lose the game. You know what? That's what I drew, so let's just go with it. We'll see how that goes that somewhere now what other cards do I have events definitely not playing with those all I hear is that events are all bad cards definitely for later when I'm looking for a challenge and now I'm going to shuffle up my orders start with two orders so first one oh can't do that this one has two plates on it someone's looking for some uh, I don't know if that'll focus but the names don't really matter as cool as it would be to be like oh this guy wants roast who sins? I don't know what that is, but uh, really, I'm just looking at the ingredients and what I have to make and how long I have to cook it. And second order: blue corn quesadillas. Now, if my objective is just to complete four orders every round, I might just chunk. These I have multiple plates, multiple cooking. I still have to make enough money to pay my wages at the end of the turn, so it's gonna be a little tricky. But yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get any of these multi-plate dishes. I need to do quicker orders and hopefully get enough money to pay each worker. So I'll probably draw two orders with the Mater D, get some more money, and then switch out any that I don't want to do, and then draw another 
this, this one, maybe one of the new ones, and then draw another one, just gave him more money and more options. Because it's going to be rough trying to do four orders. But we're going to try. Uh, let's see here. Okay. In solo mode, I play with just four hourglasses. So that means I have to make at least $12. Three for each one. And if I can't, then I lose one until I bring them back for $2 next round. Um, all right, let me set up my phone. Normally the game is played in four rounds of four minutes, but in solo mode, I get an extra minute since I'm doing, I'm doing everything by myself. So I've got a five. So game plan real quick. <coughs> Sorry. So again, just trying to get one plate dishes. Hopefully I get some prestige just to get little bonuses later. And uh Let's see if I can unlock the second storage area. That'll be nice just to get some more food ready, but all right, let's see if I can do it. So this is gonna be round one. I have to get two orders every round. Here we go. So three, two, one, go. So first Mater D, get two new orders. Another two plater and a one plater. That gives me two dollars in the office. Let me bring some orders my way. So I will get this guy here. That's a level two plate. Let's go to the waiter. Get this guy. It's a level four. Back to the Mater D, flip him over, get two new orders. There we go. Oh, so I get two more dollars. Um, I'll take this one. It's a level one plate. And uh, looks like I'm gonna have to do something here. Oh, and I'm wasting time too. That's what sucks. All right, I'm just gonna switch two out and get two new ones. There we go. Some easy stuff. Let me get this guy with the pulled pork. It's a level two. All right, so I have four orders. I actually have to do them now. So. Spice wise, I am going to need some more spices. So I'm going to go shopping. So for $1, I know I need another green. Um, spice wise, that'll be it. So maybe I'll just get one of each for later. And then I'll spend another dollar. I actually, I go here. I'll spend four to unlock the storage. That one's been unlocked. New card for two bucks. I can get a helper. All right, let's start putting things on plates. So, oh, I'm gonna put the two green over here. Okay, so for a green, one meat and bread on this level one. Ah. And what else? You can put two meats, a carrot, yellow, 
and a bread on this level four. So you have meat, a pasta, and a carrot over here. No, 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 whoops. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then he's going to go to this storage. I put two meats and a bread over here. All right, we need to start cooking. So let's see, this level one has to go to there. We'll cook it again. Uh, how about you put some spices out? Ooh. So let's see, you need a green. This level four needs a black, white, and red. And another green on the ramen soup, which is this guy. All right, so spices I'm good, I just gonna keep cooking. So that one I'm good. This level four needs to go to level two, so I'll do that. And then cook it again. Um, this ramen soup needs to go to level two, so flip him in there. That goes down. And now I'm just waiting so I can keep cooking. So this guy, I guess I'll wash some dishes. And flip that to cook this one. So now I just have to cook this pulled pork three levels. Okay, that one for one level there. Almost there, come on. That one for another level, one more level. Let's see. I just finished with the sink, the dishes, and this guy for level here. Then I can serve promptly for that one. Gain a coin. Serve promptly for that. Gain a coin. Woo! All right. Very stressful, but. Uh, I mean, I had to do it, <laughs> so, and I got to serve a couple promptly, which is pretty nice. So now, at the end of each phase, the cleanup phase, I have to, I have to check my orders, I have to pay wages, and any prestige bonuses. So first, checking the orders, just kind of go through the list here. All right, let's start with the pulled pork. It's at level three. Two meats and a, a bread. That one's good. That goes to dirty dishes. And that one gives me $3. So I'll put that out to the side, the ones I've completed. Let's see, ramen soup was a level two. This one right here. So a meat, pasta, some veggies. And some green spice at level two. Completed. That's a dirty dish. That one gives me three dollars. So one, two, five. Let's see, I have some uh, aromic duck rolls. The uh, level one plate at cooking temp two. So a green spice and a Meat, greens, and bread. Done. Dirty dish. That one gives me $3. And then for my fourth plate, it was a big one. So let's see, I, got, I have the three spices. It's cooked at level two. Two meats, carrot, cheese, bread. All right. Pop that in there. To the dirty dishes you go and this one gives me a, gives me a prestige with the star down there the rest were smaller orders so i do go up in a, a point and that one gives me four dollars one two three four now I have to pay wages so i have all four workers i have to pay twelve dollars to keep them around if i have the money so I have $3 left over, so that's going to help out. 
the storage is almost done. Let me slide these over so I can see them a little easier. And no prestige bonus because I didn't hit level three on this track. So let me see what I have for spices left. Just a uh, salt pepper and a yellow spice. Well, that's one spice away from that green one. I just need a lot more. Uh, I have all the ingredients except for the one yellow spice. I could do that. Overall cooking isn't too bad. It's a lot of money and two prestige, so I might stick to it. Definitely take this one, the pizza margarita, nice easy one. All I want is lots of bread and cheese. Okay, so game plan. Uh, dishes, I can probably save that till the end. I'll probably end up taking those two orders and then just load up getting more orders and getting more money. See if I can empty out this storage so that way everything's just in one storage locker. Okay. So round two, the marker goes up on the glove. Five minutes is already reset. So starting off right off the bat, Mater D, get two more orders, get two bucks. Flip a waiter, get those two orders. Once the Mater D's reset, get two more orders. But the other guys, I might as well clean up in the sink. I know I need to buy yellow, one more yellow at least. And then depending on new cards, I'll see if I'll take a second yellow or a red. And then after that, we'll just go from there. So, okay, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, go. So, Mater D, two new orders, as two dollars. Grab this one, it's a level two plate. Go we'll there. Grab this one. It's a level three and a level two, but you can use one plate level higher. Let's see. Mater D will get two more orders. That'll be two more dollars. Uh, in the sink, let me wash some stuff. Pop those over there. Okay, let me go shopping. So I know I want two yellow. You can go shopping too. I'll just get two red. Just kind of load up on spices. I need to get some more items in front of me. I'll take this cheese fondue, little four plate. Um. See Thai beef curry level three plate. So I have four. So let me just start working on these. So from the storage, let's see if I can use all this stuff. The cheese on you, green on you. Two carrots here. Nobody needs the pasta. So then to this storage, one more carrot. Two carrots here and a bread. One bread and two cheese. Two meats and a carrot. So I'm short on bread. 
So we get five birds there. Then you just go back to storage. Put these two birds here. I'll say that there, there. So now I can start cooking, then I can add my spices later. So move this down. You can go here. Move that down. So that one's complete. Uh, is anybody ready to cook more? All right, move this one to level one. Okay, I need to add some spices. This guy will go add some spices to dishes. Go to the spice rack, please. Give me everything. Okay, so I need two yellows on here and a black and white. I need a yellow on this level three. Okay, so I'm short uh, salt. So go over here, get one, two. Then I'm gonna get a black one. Go back to the spices, give me that salt. Ah, a minute and a half. I need, oh no, I'm grabbing the wrong stuff. There you are. Um, so salt is gonna go here. All right, let's cook. So this one is level one. That one's good to go. So that means I'm going to push this to level two. One more. So that one's good. So this needs to go level two and three. So one. And go over here, spend three for the oven space. So that's unlocked. So this one can go to level two. So I should need to cook three levels on that one. So one. Two and three. Alright, so now anything extra, what can I do? Um, let's go to Major D. Two new orders. It's two dollars. Okay, I have four seconds left. Nothing else to do really. Let's just see. Yeesh. Whew. Okay. Now. Clean up phase, so let me, ah, I could have sent orders out promptly. I'm a dummy. But, all right, let's check what, the, what I have here. So, let's start out with cheese fondue. And in level two, I should have a big plate with two cheeses and a bread. I'll give them two bucks. Let's order one of four, so pop that dirty plate here. I have a pizza margarita, level two, on a two plate. So two breads and a cheese. Got that. That'll give me two dollars. Let me uh, upgrade some of these. So that'll be five. This one will be five. All right, what else do I have? In the level three area, some Thai beef curry. Two meats, a carrot, two spices, yellow and a white. Got all that. To the dirty dishes, I get a prestige and four money. And this guy. So first, the Thai squash and pineapple curry. So spice wise, two yellows, a black and a white, and then three carrots and a green there at level one. And then also with spicy veggie soup, so two carrots and a bread in level two. So I got all that. To the dirty dishes and to the dirty dishes. So this one's gonna give me five coins and two prestige. 
So there's my four orders, still moving on. And let's see, uh, I crossed the, oh, okay, well, let me pay my guys first. So I simple 12 bucks, so now I have $7 left over. For the prestige track, I'm gonna draw two cards and pick one of these. So let's go through them. So first up, word of mouth. Whenever you go to the Mater D, draw an additional card, regardless of the action you perform. At the end of the action phase, if there are more revealed orders on the board than the number of players, lose prestige equal to the difference. Uh, is this supposed to be good? Whenever you go to the Mater D, so I'll draw three cards, let's say, and then at the end of the action phase, oh, if there's more revealed orders on the board, then I'm going to lose prestige when I have extra. So since I'm considered two players, I don't want more than two orders out there. Because then I'll just lose a, that many prestige points. Or experience maitre d. Whenever you replace orders use, using the maitre d action, get a coin. So that's pretty nice. I think I might do get the experience one. So the one I don't choose goes underneath the deck. This one will go here. Okay. So now moving on to round three. Let me see what I have in my bag for spices. So two reds, a black and a white. If I got all four of these orders, that would be one red short. Uh, I need a lot of spice coming up because if I need a black and a white, then one, two, so I need four black. So I could use one action to get three black, another action to get more white, or two greens and a white, and then. I still need what yellow? A yellow and a red. So I need to do three shopping for just spices. So a yellow and a red. Huh. Like, is it cheating if I write down a shopping list? But I'm not sure. Um, so I need to go for a yellow and a red. Oh, yeah, because I okay, I have two reds. So one for yellow and a red. One for two greens and a white and another one for three black now ingredients wise let's see so I need five six seven eight nine meats so I have to do meats twice don't need bread I need to do carrots once, no cheese, and then uh, greens once. Oh, never mind, I just saw that. So cheese once, bread, I'm still good. Meat twice, once, once. And then after that, I'll start cooking it up. Okay, let's see. How this round goes. In three, two, one. Double check. <laughs> All right, go. So we're going shopping. One coin. I get a red and yellow tossed in. Going shopping. One coin. Three black. This guy's going shopping for a coin. Um, I need 
two whites and a green. Or never mind. Uh, a white and two greens. Okay, you go shopping. Get five meats. That's one of the two meats. You go shopping. Get another five meats. You can go shopping. Give me five carrots, please. And then I need my cheeses. You can go shopping. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I should have everything for these four, so let's start getting orders. Start with you over here. Oh, actually, uh, you start washing dishes. I need level threes. Okay, now you go here. Get that for the chorizo burger. You come here. Get the chicken kerma. I need to wash these dishes. Ah, you go over here. Get this other level four plate. And you can go here, get this level three and a level two. Okay, who is ready? Okay, let's set out all the food. So, where's all my meats? One, two, three there. Two on this one. Two on there. What's next? Carrots. Carrot there. Two carrots here. Two more carrots on this guy. What do I have? Breads. Two breads here. I have one bread at the very end here. Uh, oh, my greens. Um, okay, so I need to get some more money. So let me get a couple more orders in. That's two bucks. Spend one buck to go shopping for five greens. You go back to storage. So my greens on this. And then my cheeses. So okay, I need to start cooking. So this one one level. Level two. Now I need to put my spices out. Okay, I got a black, green, red on this chorizo burger, black, yellow, red on this chicken kerma, white, black, red on the spicy grilled chicken, and green, black, white on this grilled chicken. So now I just need to cook, cook, cook. So this one's done. This one needs to go to level two. Boom, done. You go here, done. Both these go, need to go to level two, so you go there. Level one. And now I'm just waiting for my cooks. Oh, okay. But I got everything done, just need to cook, cook, cook. And you go there, that's cooked. You go here, that's cooked. Let's see. Oh, now I serve these promptly. So you go there, that's cooked. Serve promptly, that's a dollar. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I only have about 10 seconds. Ah, five seconds. So promptly, so promptly. That's two more bucks. Whoops. All right. Let's check. So I got my four orders in, so I'm still going. Um, so first, check my orders. So let's see. We got a grilled chicken. Which is this guy right here. At level two, everything looks correct. 
with the uh, cheese scones. Nice little side there. Good order, sir. Hope you enjoy. Dirty dishes. Dirty dishes. So that's one of my orders. That one's going to give me two prestige points and five dollars. Next up, I have a chorizo burger pickup level two. So it's got a lot of stuff on it. So these three spices, two breads, carrot, and two meats. There you go. Dirty plate, one prestige and four monies. All right, order up spicy grilled chicken. Should be in the level one. Here it is. Two carrots, two meats, a uh, red, white, and black. Uh, whoops. That'll go there. That goes there. That gives me three dollars. One, two, three. And chicken kerma, level two cooking. So you have a yellow, a red, and a black. Three meats, two carrots. Got that one. And that one gives me one prestige and four money. So that let me pass the barrier for to get another prestige card. <laughs> I, almost for, I totally forgot I had this, but I never used it where I can replace orders and get a coin. If there's orders that I didn't like. But, uh, okay, so I got my four orders for the round. I have to pay my workers, so uh, 12. So I'm left over with $8. Lots of dirty dishes. Um, zero spices. And I get to draw two more prestige cards. So first, I have an improved dishwasher. Whenever you go to the sink, you may perform the action twice. Well, that's pretty nice. Just saves time. And the other one, go on the extra mile. I'm sorry, the action phase lasts 10 minutes more. Is that right? Because that is crazy. I mean, I don't, I don't even know if I want to play that long. It's <laughs> like a 15, a 15 minute round. Are you kidding me? Uh, I almost want to double check. Uh, let's see. Kitchen rush. Going the extra mile. I wonder if anybody else has talked about it. Yeah, someone did. Um, let's see. In the U.S., at least, that means 10 minutes. We argue that it doesn't make sense. Could it mean 10 seconds? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I was totally looking at it wrong. So, an extra 10 seconds. Um, that makes way more sense. I guess I haven't used one or two quotes for minutes and seconds in a long time. So, uh, but I think I'm just going to go with the improved dishwasher. I mean, just get all my items back. So, just want to go underneath, or all my uh, clean all my dishes in one go. <clears throat> okay, so now there's gonna be the Final round, still have to complete four dishes. I'm not really worried about money. I could just try to look for super easy dishes. Because I have $8. Well, I am going to have to spend some of it for items because I have no spices. And just off these two, I need two blacks on a white spice. 
meats I'm short I have the four greens to cover it and I have a carrot so spices and meat just for those two orders and then it just depends on whatever else I pick up mm. okay I mean I think I'll be okay so let me see all right uh, we'll just we'll do this um i just have to remember that when i go to sync you may perform the action twice cool and if i ever do replace orders i get an extra coin but i don't think it's going to happen so we'll start in three two one go so we'll go to the sink do my double wash let's go get some spices so for a dollar why and some meats so yeah I get my five meats real quick you're going shopping so coin two blacks and a white go in the bag let's send you over here to draw two cards get two bucks so we need a lot more spices so let's see you can go over here and get two whites and a green you can go shopping again I need some couple take a couple of yellows uh, let's see I have the pastas for that okay I need to spend a dollar let me get some carrots I have the two pastas one two three four five six carrots two four six um one two three four five six meats i think i'm good so i think i have all the spices and everything okay why am i wasting time so let's start getting these orders so big plate and a number one plate A level two plate. Oh, I just noticed that level, the other one's a level four plate also. I only have two level two. So you need to go out. I need some more orders. It's on a smaller plate. So that'll give me two bucks. And I'll just figure this one out. So level two. Okay, so let's load up our plates and I'll see what I'm short. That and that there. Two pastas, two carrots here. Um, two meats, and a green, and a meat, a carrot. Okay, so I need bread. So let's say you go over here. Give me bread. You put that bread. So, okay, so ingredients wise, I'm good. So now I need to see someone put out their spices. I'll just see what I'm short. Okay, so a little salt and pepper there. White, green, yellow on this little two here. Let's see. A black one on there so I need a, a white and a black so put that over coin white black grab whatever let's see someone else go to spices and put that white and black on the little four all right time to get cooking so this one needs to go to level three so that's one two and come on come on go come on guys we got a lot of cooking to do and three so that one's done this little guy needs to go level two so one two that one's done you sir are cooking this one to level one 
three and two. Ooh, come on, keep on cooking. So let's see, done. This one needs to go to level three. Okay, done. Go down one more level. Come on, we got about 35 seconds. Done. And then we need to cut two levels. Okay, you're done. And then we'll just try to get some extra money. By uh, promptly serving these. I have 14 seconds. Okay, you're done. So these are all done. Let's go serve some foods. So do that one. Do that one. Two coins. Oh, there we go. So that was the end of round four. So now let me check my orders, make sure everything is good to go. All right, we got a pot roast beef with French onion soup on the side. So let's check with the pot roast beef. It'll be in level three. This guy right here. So we got the carrot and two meats and salt and pepper. And then with the side of French onion soup at level two. There you go. And everything looks right there. Off you go, and off you go. So that one's going to give me two stars and five dollars. All right, next up, I got a pasta curry with cauliflower. That should be on level one. There we go. Spices look good. Two pastas and some carrots. That'll give me three dollars nothing special about the dish so no prestige and let's see next up we got some pie and mash this level two right here so we got the carrot bread and meat with the black spice everything's correct on it so that's another three dollars and some Chinese suckling or yeah Chinese suckling pig roast so in the level three two meats and a green and black and white so that one gives me one star and four monies so now I still need to pay wages and no prestige bonus so let me see Whew. And there's my four orders all right, so at the end of the fourth round, the game ends. Count all the orders that you served in the game, the money you are left with, and the space on your prestige track, and check your objective. So again, the objective was to, since I have to count as two players, I'm doing four orders every round, and which I did. And what else? Um, so I have to meet the requirements of the objective and also have no unpaid hourglasses. You must have at least one coin. I have 10 and have at least one prestige. So if all are true, then congrats, you win the game. All right. I'm really enjoying this. I like the little challenge. This is my second game and um, I'm making some close calls. I know you can make it harder if you subtract 30 seconds in solo mode so you only have four minutes and 30 seconds but i'm pretty sure in one of those rounds i would have been it would have messed me up pretty good um yep and that is kitchen rush thank you for joining me and hope you enjoyed the stream Definitely look forward to playing it again, trying out a new objective. See what curious what else they have in a regular mode. Not even gonna try to mess with hard mode yet, but uh, where are the normal ones? Very hard, no thank you. So some have a combination of 
orders filled, how much per, how much prestige you have, and how many or how many coins you have in prestige. How many orders did I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen since I was forced to make four every round. So I would have actually completed this one because I'm at 11 prestige, so pass that six. I have 10 money, so I barely beat that just by two coins. Uh, let's see what else we have. Each player starts the game with one hourglass. And since I'm playing as two players, even though I'm soloing, so I guess I'll just get two hourglasses and I'd have to buy the rest. But I do have to serve way less because I'm using up time. What else? Just have lots of money. 12 money at the end of the game. So in this game, I would have lost. But I'm sure I would have changed up which orders I got because I probably would have gotten less amount of orders that gave me more money. Man, but I still have to Pay my workers though, so it's still rough. Uh, what else? Just have a lot of orders. I would have been one short in this game, which is kind of crazy. Cause I was doing four every round, so that means one round I'd have to do five. And then this one, I would have beat this just by one prestige. But yeah, these are uh, good little objectives. I thought this was gonna be a lot crazier, but uh, as long as uh, I. In solo, you can definitely plan your turn out. I'm sure it's really hectic when you start adding more players and everybody has their own orders, but at least in solo, all the info is just in my head. So I'm able to figure out exactly what my shopping is, list is and be very efficient. But that'll be it for me. Thank you for joining me. And have fun, guys. Let me see. Have a good one.